and to be present with the Lord. Therefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade him, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you a page to glory on our behalf, that he may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. For whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, it were all our death. And that he died for all, that they which live should not live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them. And rose again. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are behold. to follow the program as you see it and first on the agenda is we need God's help so we're going to ask brother Corlew if you would come and pray Father, we thank you, Lord God, for Sister Nancy Payne. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, that she passed our way. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the example that she has left behind to live a Christian life, Lord God, before us all. We thank you, Lord God, for her love, Lord God, for the church, love and respect to her husband the love for her children, and Lord God, her love for you. Yes. Lord God, you looked down one day mm. and said time for you to come home. Yes. How beautiful heaven must oh, be. Yes. Lord, to reach down and Lord, to pull another rose. Yes. Lord, to be around the throne. 
Father, we ask you to comfort them. Be with this family. Be with the church. Lord God, we're going to miss her. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the 40, over 40 years we have known this family. Lord God, we're thankful for the time that we live side by side in the double, Lord God. Father God, 11 years, Lord God, raising and bringing up our children together and teaching them about the things of God, Lord God, and show them, Heavenly Father, how to walk, Lord God. Brother David, our friendship has been wonderful. Lord God, down through the years, Lord God, Father, we just appreciate his life, Lord, his stand, Lord God, for salvation. Lord God, this was a home of love, filled with love, Lord God. Lord, if the world could be like that home. Lord God, that home that we uh, were side by side and nothing but love on each side, Lord God, loving and praising you. How a better world will we have today if we will know how to love. Lord, we're living in an evil time, Lord God, the devil has busted up the churches and churches are divided and they're divided because of lack of love. My God, my Father, you say God is love. Yes. Lord, help us know how to love one another, yes. how to treat one another, how to be kind to one another. Yes. Lord God, the pain friend was given to hospitality. Yes. Lord, the door was open at any time that you could come in any night. It didn't matter what the hour was, the door was open. Lord, I will never forget the day. My God, who be side by side. Lord God, I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. The money was low. Didn't know how I was going to feed my children. And Lord God, one night, my back porch was filled with groceries. Lord God, who did this? Who died this? I didn't know who did it. But one day I found out it was the pain family. It was Brother Lord. Lord, I thank you for Brother Amen. Thank you. Lord bless him, comfort him. He's going to miss Sister Nancy. Yes. My God, but he stood by her, Lord God. Yes. Side by side, he was singing. Lord, he stood with her, Lord God. But he, he knew what he was meant when he took those vows. Lord God. Father, he said, for us to love our wives as Christ loved the church. Thank God he passed the test. Yes. My God, help us, Lord God that are still here, that are married. Help us consider our companion, Lord God, that are bringing children into the world, Lord God, Father. Help us, Lord God, to respect them, Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And Father, bless the children. They're going to miss Mama. Mama, they taught them, Lord God, the right things, Lord God. Remember, Lord God, those that are not saved, deal with their hearts, Lord God. Father, one day they can see Mama again. Father, they can see her again, they can hug her again. Yeah. My God, Father, this blesses her today. Yeah. Lord, bless this church, Lord God, the heart is just filled. Oh, God. Lord God, we ask you to bless the word of God that come forth today. Lord, that they come forth with power, they will shake the very foundation of every soul. My God, help us, Heavenly Father, they will be true to you. So, Lord, we ask you now to comfort this family. Lord, they're precious. Be with them, Lord God. Be with Brother David, Lord. He can continue to see her again. My God, just continue to help and strengthen our brother. The Lord, just be with the Lord, wherever that's done in the service. They be done, Father, to glorify thee. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for all that you have done. Yes. As you bless, Lord God, Darnell and Mike. The brothers, Lord, bless yes. them. We go, mistresses. Be with them, Lord God, Father, and all other connected members. Lord God, we ask you to undertake and bless it all in a special way. But we ask you to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Right next on the agenda, we would ask Brother Blaze to come with the scripture. read a text of scripture both from the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament scripture we have to read from would be Psalms, the 39th chapter, verses 1 through 5. Psalms 39, verses 1 through 5. I said I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, 
while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace. Even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue. Oh my God. Lord, mm. make me to know my end. Yes. And the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. Yes. Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, yes. and my age is as nothing before thee. Mm. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether bent. See. Him. And we'll turn over to the New Testament, to Romans. 14th chapter, Romans the 14th chapter. We'll read verses 7 through 9. Romans the 14th chapter, verses 7 through 9. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. I trust that these words will find life in each heart this morning. Amen. God bless you. Those are words to sink deep into our hearts. Next, we have a, a peace medley. Give good attention.
right, now we will have the reading of the obituary and the acknowledgement by Sister Sandra Bethel. Obituary. Nancy Louise Carter Payne, 73, of Springfield, Ohio, went to be with the Lord on Monday afternoon, July 13, 2020. The daughter of Darnell, Don, and Maxine Edwards Carter, she was born on November 12, 1946. Nancy attended Bolton Elementary, Schaefer Junior High, and she graduated from South High in 1966. After graduating, Sister Nancy was employed as a cashier at Ontario Discount Department Store, where she continued working until the birth of her first child, Deanne Payne. Sister Nancy gave her heart to the Lord at an early age. On June 10, 1972, David and Nancy were joined in holy matrimony and were blessed with 48 years of marital bliss. To this union was born Deanne Elizabeth, David Marion Jr., and Christy Chanel. As a family, they loved to travel and enjoyed many adventures together, visiting places like Washington, D.C., Brooklyn, New York, and St. Louis, Missouri. Sister Nancy loved to read and listen to old time radio stories to pass the time. Sister Nancy consistently worked for the Lord and always wanted to be a part of the action. She often helped others and had a very generous heart. No matter the occasion, she was right there to serve and support. No distance was too far for her to travel, whether it was a camp meeting, wedding, graduation, or birthday event. Sister Nancy was present, accounted for, and spared no expense for gifts. For special events, you can rest assured that she was often asked to make her signature baked beans. She also sang in the choir and was one of the original members. She served on committees and was the overseer of the Sunday duty list for many years, making sure the church dining area was cleaned after dinner and all pots were washed. She took her job seriously and would make her rounds with list in hand to remind the young people of their duties. Spectators could watch the young people scatter when they saw her coming, but somehow Sister Nancy always managed to catch up with them and make sure they were on their post. She was never late to service when her children were young. She was organized, had their clothes laid out, and prepared in advance. She believed in making sure her children were well behaved and did not believe in sparing the rod. Her children and her husband were her heartbeats. Today, they rise up and call her blessed and lovingly provided care for her during her sickness. Since she loved being active, they made sure she continued to enjoy life and stay on the go as much as possible until her passing. Sister Nancy loved serving God and in her prayers would address him as her dear Lord. She would often say in her testimonies how much she just appreciated the Lord. On Monday afternoon, her soul was like a waiting falcon. When her soul was released, it took flight to the portals of glory where we can imagine her saying, Dear Lord, I just appreciate you. She leaves to cherish her memory, her devoted husband, David M. Payne Sr., son, David M. Danielle Payne Jr. of Urbana, Ohio, daughters, Deanne E. Payne and Christy S. Payne of Columbus, Ohio, brothers, Darnell Carter of Springfield, Ohio, Michael Debbie Carter of Vandalia, Ohio, brothers-in-law, Clarence Payne Jr. and Joseph Ann Payne of Springfield, Ohio, Stephen Payne of Columbus, Ohio, sister-in-law, Joanne Shepherd L. of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, grandson, Tariq R. Woods of Columbus, Ohio, and grandpups, Benji Woods and Junior Payne. <laughs> Nieces, 
nephews, and a host of friends. Sister Nancy dearly loved her family and the saints. There were some especially dear to her, including cousins Leah and Brooke, I'm sorry, Leah and Brooke Wilkerson, Faith Fletcher, and Timothy and Catherine Robinson Sr. Cousin friend Janie Kennerly Edwards, who lovingly called her Nanny Goat. Special friends Robert and Carmen Corlew Sr. and family, Maxine Moore, Stella Cavan and daughters, Sharon Tanner and Ruth Cavan, Janice Hookfin, Ardetta Pillard, Anissa and Donnie Gaskin, Carmen Smith, Catherine Lewis Campbell, and Karen Candy Chilton, adopted mom, Catherine Clark, and adopted daughter, Sandra Bethel. She was preceded in death by her father, mother, father and mother-in-law, Clarence and Grace Payne Sr., grandson, David M. Payne III, and special friends, Rebecca Wilkerson, Patricia Kennerly, Gwen Taylor, and Doris Burke. I'll now read some acknowledgments and condolence letters. To the family of Sister Nancy L. Carter Payne, July 18, 2020. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4, verse 7. We, the congregation of Cascades Church of God, wish to express our heartfelt sympathy in the home going of your loved one, Sister Nancy Payne. Although our hearts are grieved with loss, it is not grief without hope. We are confident that Sister Payne fought the good fight until her last breath. During Sister Payne's final days on this side, her faith remained unwavered, for she knew what was waiting for her on the other side, a host of friends and family cheering her on. Carter Payne family, Sister Nancy is home. The memory of smile, hospitality, and sweet spirit will be cherished forever. May God comfort you during this time of immeasurable loss. Please be assured that we will be upholding you in prayer with love in Christ our Savior, Cascades Church of God, Jackson, Michigan. To the family of the late Nancy Louise Carter Payne, on behalf of the Springfield Grand Avenue Church of God congregation, we would like to extend our deepest condolence to the beloved husband, children, grandchildren, family, and friends of Sister Nancy Louise Payne. The past that we shared with Sister Nancy has many fond memories. Some of the saints grew up with Sister Nancy at the Church of God on 1819 West Washington Street in Springfield, Ohio. Sister Nancy was kind of shy until she got to know you. She loved her family and the saints. She was faithful to help her aunt and uncle, Sister Adele and brother Paul Butler. Some of her favorite friends and family members were the Kennerleys, the Robinsons, Sister Doris Gaskin Burke, Sister Peggy Webb, and Sister Jessie Walker. The past that we shared with Sister Nancy has many fond memories. She told us of how she and her brothers would misbehave in church, and her mother, Sister Maxine Carter, would pick up her purse and shake it at them during service. <laughs> they knew that their mother's belt, which was used to execute judgment, was in her purse. <laughs> she loved to travel, whether it was to fellowship meetings, camp meetings, church outings, Higginbotham family reunions, mother-daughter trips, or just cruising around with Brother David. She always helped David in planning the church trips. That is where she got the nickname of Trail Boss. <laughs> Sister Nancy was faithful to help Brother David with his board duty assignments. She helped in the kitchen and worked on the Saints duty assignment list and menus planning for the annual Christmas meetings and other special church events. She was a faithful choir member with a strong alto voice. She sang in a special quartet with Sister Patricia Kennerly, Brother Robin Robinson, and of course, Brother David Payne. One special song the quartet sang was, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Brother David, Deanne, David Jr., Christy, 
Darnell, Michael, and family members. Losing a loved one is never easy. We are praying that God will sustain you during this difficult time of bereavement. Submitted by the Grand Avenue Church of God Ministry, Board of Trustees, and Congregation. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. To Brother David Payne and family, and to Sister Marjorie Salee and the Saints of the Church of God, Kensington Place, Springfield, Ohio. Persuaded that Sister Nancy Payne fulfilled the instructions of Jesus to be faithful unto death, we believe that she is now enjoying the presence of her Savior. As the Apostle Paul said, to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Nevertheless, understanding that her departure naturally produces a sense of loss and grief, both to her natural and her spiritual family, I take this moment to express on behalf of the congregation of the Church of God at 16th Street, Rio Abajo, Panama, our heartfelt condolences. We pray that the God of all comfort surrounds you with his love and sustains and supports you with his grace in this hour of sorrow and in the days to come. On a more personal note, I have good memories of Sister Nancy's kind presence as she accompanied Brother David as he drove my wife and I over many miles into various destinations during our many visits in the United States. I likewise have memories of love and hospitality I felt in their home. So to Brother David, I add, May the memories of a good and caring wife serve to strengthen and encourage you in the days to come. She has fought a good fight, and she has finished her course. And now her Lord has said to her, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. May his grace prove sufficient to everyone now and always. Brother Frank Brewster, Pastor, Church of God, Rio Abajo, Panama. To the Payne family with deep condolence. Losing this wonderful sister is very painful and we are extending our hand of comfort to Brother Dave and your children. May God lead you all each and every step of the way that you will take without your wife and the mother of your children. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always near, so loved, so missed, so very dear. May Sister Nancy be at peace with our Heavenly Father. It is with sincere care and love we send our deepest sympathy to the family. Beloved Sister Nancy was as sweet and caring as could be. She showed her love for others in the best way possible. The heart of her husband did safely trust in her. She stretched out her hand to the poor and reached forth her hands to the needy. She was a blessing to all of us. Remembering her wonderful and gentle spirit will forever remain in our hearts. All of the Payne family are in our hearts to stay. May our Lord bless and comfort all of you during this time of grief. We hope and pray that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ brings your family much needed comfort and peace during this sad time in your lives. Sincerely, Pastor Henry and Sister Georgetta Howard, Congregation Talladega, Alabama. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 116, verse 15. To the family of the late Nancy L. Payne, the Church of God in Columbus, Georgia, wishes to extend our deepest sympathies to Brother David, Deanne, Davy, Christy, and the many friends and families who also loved and appreciated Sister Nancy. We know this day will come for us all, but it is never easy. The news of a loved one passing causes us to reflect as we think about what it will mean for us to not have that loved one here. A faithful wife, mother, choir member, and traveler. She and Brother Dave clocked many miles around the country supporting the work of the Church of God. Sister Nancy was in the battle for many years, but now she has laid down her sword and shield 
to be replaced for a reward from the Father. Please be comforted in the knowledge that although she is gone, God will still be faithful. When our landscape changes, God does not. He will still be an ever-present help in the time of trouble. There will be difficult days ahead, but please know that you all will be in our prayers as you adjust to life without her. Sincerely, Pastor Mark A. Burke, Church of God, Columbus, Georgia. There are many changes in life. Some are easy to adjust to, while others are most difficult to become accustomed to. The death of a loved one is very difficult to adjust to. The companionship and love that is shared from day to day, and then it stops. That is the hardest adjustment in life to cope with. I am glad that there is one who understands the difficulty of the adjustment and knows just how to comfort and soothe the broken heart to sustain the bereaved through those adjustments. On behalf of the Bishy Camp Brown Church of God, we wish to extend our personal and most sincere condolences to the friends and loved ones of our dear sister in the Lord, Sister Nancy Payne. To Brother David, I know you are hurting from the loss of your dear companion. May God be the greatest comforter he has promised to be, and you have sensed in times past as you needed him. We are praying much for you in your great loss. To the children, there is no love like a mother's love. I know you loved your mother. May God put your loving arms around you and keep you as you go through this time of heartache. You are also in our prayers. To the family and, and fellow saints, we have lost a great woman in Zion. We cannot calculate at this time the tremendous loss to the church, but we know God's purpose and plan is not comprehended with these little finite minds, so we humbly submit to the great will of God. We have known Brother and Sister Payne for several years, some decades now. We have found them to be real saints of God, sincere in their service to the Lord. We have grown to love them more and more as the years have gone by. We have labored with them in the work of God in many areas and been together in worship services in many localities. They have been faithful to attend the annual camp meeting here at Fishy for over 25 years. We have also labored together in the Cayman Islands, North Carolina, Alabama, Michigan, Barron, Ohio, and other places enjoying each and every time we were together. We loved Sister Payne dearly and will greatly miss her tremendously at our meeting. Time would escape me to tell of all the good times we had together here. She was my partner in crime when it came to watermelon time after the evening service at camp meeting. Sister Payne, if there is a watermelon in heaven, save me a piece, please. I will be along shortly. May God bless her her precious memory. Yeah. We are praying that God will sustain you by his grace and fill you with his love as you deal with this, your great loss. Our prayers are with you and will continue to be with you into the coming days. Pastor Clarence Campbell and Congregation, Bishy Campground Church of God, Bishy, Missouri. To the family of Nancy Louise Carter Payne, Although words are never sufficient to communicate love and compassion during such times of loss, please accept our deepest condolences in the passing of your dear wife, mother, grandmother, loved one, friend, and saint of God, Sister Nancy Louise Payne. Sister Nancy always wanted to help. It was a gift. No matter what the occasion, she was ready, willing, and up for the challenge. Whether it was a wedding, funeral, graduation, open house, baby shower, fellowship meeting, camp meeting, it did not matter. Sister Nancy was there to support. She was very free hearted and spared no expense on gifts. She was always willing to contribute money to help those in need. No fellowship meeting, camp meeting, or social event was too far for her to travel. She loved adventure and seeing new places, and even made her way to the Grand Cayman Convention. Sister Nancy
Nancy dearly loved her children, and she was proud of each one, including her grandson, Tariq. She loved the saints and her family. She dearly loved her husband, David, and he loved her. Attending to her every need and desire, lovingly, patiently caring for her as her health began to fail, bringing to life the words of Ephesians 5 and 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Sister Nancy was a genuine and straightforward, a pure soul, unpretentious and caring. She loved to share in the accomplishments and achievements of others with never a hint of envy. She sang in the choir and was one of the original members. She would serve on committees and was the overseer of the work list for many years. She would coordinate the workers to wash dishes, mop, and clean the fellowship hall after dinner on Sunday, make sure the young people assigned were on their posts, and lastly, let them know when it was their turn for the dreaded pots and pans duty. She also organized the work list for the fellowship meetings for many years. She had everyone on a schedule and it ran like a well-oiled machine. From the pastor's point of view, Sister Nancy was a blessing to the congregation in various ways. As long as she was physically able, even from her wheelchair, she wanted to be involved and volunteered for the things that she could do. Many were the times that she and her husband represented the congregation at special yearly events at home in the USA and abroad. Camp meetings, fellowship meetings, conventions, revivals, etc. When others found reasons not to go, she pressed against the odds to go despite her disability. That's a testament to her love for God and his people and is an encouragement to any pastor's heart. Sister Nancy loved her church family, politics, pretty clothing, reading, traveling, and being where the action was. On her last Sunday on earth, though she wasn't feeling well, she was determined to attend the Praises on the Porch outreach with the saints. Though she was asked numerous times if she wanted to go home and rest, she emphatically said no. Not long after the event was over, she went home to be with the Lord just the way she wanted it. She gave her heart to God as a young person and remained faithful unto the end of life's journey. She was a steadfast pillar in the church of God. Surely there is no greater testimony, no greater accolade than that. Although she will be sorely missed, we rejoice to know that her suffering has ended. She is resting from her labors and enjoying the bliss of her reward. Today, we reach out in love to Sister Nancy's family, particularly her dear husband, Brother David Payne Sr., her pre precious children, Deanne, David Jr., and Christy, and her grandson, Tariq, all of whom she adored. The customary offerings of condolence and words of comfort seem so inadequate in the loss of one so dear. Regardless, we extend our deepest sympathy and the words of our dear Savior in Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Although in the days, weeks, and months to come there will be hard days, please know that we are here for you. Whatever you need, any time of the day or night, please do not hesitate to reach out. We love you, and your loss is our loss. Your church family Marjorie Salee, Interim Pastor, Church of God of Springfield, Ohio. On the back of your program, there's a poem that we'll read. It's called A Portrait of Nancy. Nancy, loving, caring, and faithful. What a beautiful rainbow of words. They create a lovely masterpiece a stunning picture of her. Nancy, soft pinks and vivid blues, memories to carry me through. Strokes on my canvas, a blend of tears and smiles, an indescribable picture of you. Fiercely loyal, unwavering love, hardworking, industrious too. Brilliant
Smith's colors from the master's palette paint a vivid picture of you. Fiercely loyal, and wait, I'm sorry. Who is this person, this beautiful soul? Angelic, her color so pure, like sunshine on a waterfall, shimmering crystal clear. The beauty of a life well lived, the final stroke complete. Rest on now, my sweet Nancy, until again we meet. Lovingly submitted, Cousin Faith. Acknowledgements. The family of Nancy Louise Carter Pay acknowledges with sincere appreciation your expressions of sympathy, your prayers, and all acts of kindness shown at this time of bereavement. Special thanks to her adopted daughters, Leah Lomax, Loray Calhoun, Keisha Flood, and Shalita Goodwin. Special cousins, Melissa Salee, Melinda and Megan Clark, and awesome friends and family, Sandra Bethel, Janie Kennerly Edwards, Leah Wilkerson, Marie Glaze, Lisa Bethel, Carmen Corlew, Rochelle Harris, Annette Dennis-Turner, and Siobhan Corlew Coleman, Marjorie Salee, and the Church of God of Springfield, Ohio Congregation, and the Littleton and Rue Funeral Home, Springfield, Ohio. All right, now we will have another selection by our choir, a song called This Day.
All right, now we're going to open the floor for remarks from those who would care to share. I'm asking you to please keep it within the two minute limit. We are on a time schedule. And uh, we can't say it all in two minutes, whatever good things we'd like to share. But we're going to give way. I'm going to ask you to come over this microphone here um, and share. And in light of this challenge that we're all facing, which is represented by all these masks that we see, I'm going to ask you please don't touch the mic. Just speak into it. And so whatever you have to say, this is your opportunity. Two minutes, please. And if you would like to line up across the wall just to expedite time, you're free to do so. I moved here from Georgia in March and the church blessed me with a wonderful welcome and Sister Nancy Payne was here. Hey, this might not like me. Anyway, <laughs> I have underlined health issues so I've not been coming to church. But last Sunday, when I went to the, what do you call it, on the porch? Praise and outreach. Yeah. Praise, Praise on the porch. porch. I was surprised to see Sister Nancy there. Yeah. I was ple pre pleasantly surprised to see her there. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, if she can push for to be here. What is my excuse? In a short period of time, I learned to love Sister Nancy and Brother P, Brother Dave. And I asked God to grant me the strength to follow her example and be there. Lord bless your family. Yeah. In a short period of time, I learned to admire and love your mom. Okay? That's all I wanted to share. Amen. For those that don't realize it, I'm Darnell Carter. I am Sister Payne's oldest brother. Now, we were seven years apart. She was the eldest. And because she was seven years apart, we really didn't have that much conflict, but what did happen was she sort of became somewhat of a protector out in the neighborhood. I got a nice little story for you. They used to play baseball, softball at Elmwood Elementary School field, and Nancy was playing softball, and there was a guy in the neighborhood who was the neighborhood bully. I won't mention his name, but he was a bully. And not long after this, he got sent to prison for life of murder. So he went, we, I ain't joking when I say bully. She gave me about 50 cents to take over to Ruggles Confectionery Store to get a bag of skins and a bottle of Bart's root beer. And so evidently this bully saw her hand me the money. So I'm walking away and he says, give me the money. And I said, no. And he grabs me and throws me down on the ground. And I'm, I'm struggling. And, and, you know, ain't nothing I can do, really. All of a sudden, I hear a voice say, get off him. And all of a sudden, bam, she hit him upside right with this baseball bat. <laughs> now, usually, due process requires that you give a person an opportunity to respond before punishment is left. Oh, she wasted he got up. You would have thought it was Jesse Owens running around. <laughs> and we learned later he had gone to the emergency room to be uh, uh, treated. <laughs> but she was a protector. One thing I do want to say, I, I really appreciate my brother-in-law for taking care of my sister right, in the last. Right. Uh, I mean, it was not 
an easy thing. No. He made sure she was in all of our activities, uh, and it wasn't an easy task, particularly. She was a strong woman all of her life, but she lost her ability to, to be as mobile as she wanted to be. And David made sure that she was just took part in everything, travel, uh, events, all the way up to the very end. I want to thank you very much you know, for that, brother. Yeah. Good one. Good one. I just want to say goodbye to my sister. She's going to receive her reward. Very much earned. And even though I will never be able to talk to her again, I want to thank her from the bottom of my heart, you know, for saving me from disaster <laughs> with that baseball thing. <laughs> thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Sister Matt Seymour. Believe it or not, I'm the baby of the group. There used to be a few of us that every time we went to parent meetings, fellowship meetings, travel, wherever we travel, we were always together. Uh, I would call her Nanny, she would call me Maxie. And somehow one day, he squeezed himself in me also. And he became Brother G. And we used to have a wonderful time together. Yeah, we did. And the many times that I came to Springfield in the summertime, and it, we had a special thing that Nanny and I used to do. I would come, and as soon as I come, we would hit the library. The library is spring. And we would take our books, and we would hit the grocery store, and we would get all the microwaveable popcorn. <laughs> and here we would go home, dismiss Brother G, and she would take one side of the couch, I would take the other couch, we take the books, we take the popcorn, and there we stayed for hours. <laughs> hours. We loved it. We would do it every summer, every time. And I just, I just, I just miss my baby. I miss her. I love her so much. Even with all the distance, I'm in New York and she's here. She was always there. She was always on the phone to call or I would call. I love her children. I have loved them since they were little. I appreciate the saints of God. Brother Jean, I love you with all my heart. Yes. Brother Moore, sisters of God. And she's gone to heaven now. And with that, I rejoice. Amen. They made mention about her being the overseer of the, the cleanup committee. And that needs to be explained, I believe. Basically, when we were all at a Grand Avenue Church of God, Sunday after Sunday, they would cook dinner. And then we would eat dinner, and then, of course, there's cleanup. And one of the assignments was to wash the pots and pans that they used to cook the dinner. And that was always a difficult job. A lot of scrubbing, it's a lot of time, maybe a couple hours or so of your time, and you may want to spend time with your friends or take a nap or whatever, so your, your, your afternoon is ruined if you got pots and pans. So Sister Nancy's job was to make sure if it was your, opportunity, your time to do it that you, know, you knew it was your opportunity and you were, you know, didn't skip out of your duty. So it kind of became sort of a, I guess among the young people, young men especially, the kind of a situation where you would have to keep an eye on her to make sure that she was over there, you were over here. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't see Anthony Cabin in the audience, but Anthony Cabin explained it best, though. He says to Nancy, it was kind of like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> and then he said you would see her across the room so you felt safe and before you know it she's right next to you <laughs> she's between your ear 
you have pots. <laughs> then he said, she disappeared. She be gone. <laughs> you have pots. She's gone. So, so that's kind of the background behind, behind this. I think everyone needed to know that. One other thing, though, for Father's Day, Sister Nancy, this past Father's Day last month, Sister Nancy hadn't been in church since this COVID-19 thing had hit. So it's probably been, I don't know, three, four months since she had been in service. And so I came to church and wasn't expecting to see her, you know, because this COVID thing is all the, you know, still is lingering on. And I, I sit right with Brother Campbell. That's my seat, Brother Campbell. You're in my chair. So um, we'll talk about it more later. But, but that's where I was sitting and, and service about ready to begin. And I turn around and Sister Nancy was there in the back. That, that just did my heart good, just to see her. My sister Nancy was one, if she, if she could, if she if she could physically handle it, she was going to be at church. Yeah, right. She was not trying to, oh, I hurt my finger, I can't. No, she was going to be there if she Amen. could. And, and she was there that Sunday. It did my heart, it actually brought tears in my eyes to see her that particular Sunday. And, and, and so that, that's a good lesson for all of us. So it's, it's so easy to just ask a word, ah, I'm tired, I'll not Sister Nancy. She set a good example. If she could, she was going to be in service. So Lord help us to follow that example. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. I am Siobhan Corlew, brother Corlew's uh, third child. I'm the youngest girl. And we live next door to the Paines for 11 years. I believe my dad said we did. And um, we were, Christy and I are roughly, roughly three weeks apart. And so Christy is my sister. I've known her. We were twins when we were little, Janice and Denise. <laughs> and we had twin boyfriends, Keith and Kevin. <laughs> so we were very, very close. <laughs> We were a lot of things to each other. And I remember, you know, as a kid, you know, we would we would hear each other getting whippings and we could hear through the wall. There was one wall that separated our living quarters. And we would listen and we would try to decide which one it was getting a whooping and they would do the same thing. They would be listening like, oh, I think that's Connie. That's getting, getting whooped. And then we listen. And Christy, whenever she got whooped, she would say, yes, sir, the whole time. Yes, sir, daddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, so Sister Nancy was literally like another mother to me. She was a part of the village that raised me. And I remember one day, um, Christy and I had got some new Barbies. And we I, we went, I went next door and I said, Christy, bring all your dolls out. I'm bring, you know, my new dolls out and we want to play. And so I asked Sister Nancy, I said, is it okay if we play funeral? And she looked at us and she said, Oh, okay, y'all, 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 y'all be safe, you know, to tell us where we could and couldn't go. So we went and we got a Barbie, and it was an older Barbie that we didn't like, and for whatever reason, we cut all the hair off of it. I'm not sure why, but we cut all the hair off of it. We lined up everything that had wheels on it, and we made a processional, and we went to the backyard. And Christy and I, <laughs> Christy and I dug the biggest hole <laughs> out of the yard. I mean, the biggest plug out of that yard. Brother David was so mad. <laughs> he said, Siobhan and Christy. <laughs> All the parents were outside Sister Nancy. He was like, I can't believe y'all did that. <laughs> I cannot believe that y'all took a plug out of the yard. <laughs> But we had to lay that doll to rest. <laughs> I loved, there's so many stories that I have of us growing up together, taking trips, going to Tennessee, Tennessee to visit my dad's family. So many memories. I love the pains. Y'all are my family. Y'all know that. My, like, hands down, my family. And I'm going to miss Aunt Nancy is what I called her. I'm going to miss her. Love y'all with all my heart. God bless you, comfort you, and keep you. Sounds like an interesting life. 
All right, now we're going to have another selection. The song was called Address Change Notification. I just want to share something really quick about Sister Nancy. That was my heart. I loved her. She was there from day one, babysat my brothers while I was being born in the hospital. And uh, I used to be really sad when my parents would leave, like to go on ministerial trips. And one day my mom was like, well, who do you want to stay with? I said, Nancy and David. She was like, OK, well, let me ask them. And of course, they were just, well, I was a teen teenager. And I would be sad when my parents would leave. But um, once I got to stay over there, I was fine when they would go out of town. Uh, but anyway, just recently, well, Nancy loved her children. And she loved her children. So Christy was in Delaware, and she knew that Christy and Dee Dee had, well, Dee Dee too, they had, I had seen them the night before, so she called me on the phone. I'm not, hey, hey, Jane Jane. Or she said, hey, darling. I said, hi. She said, I'm not going to keep you. Did you see somebody yesterday? She just wanted me to say, yes, Christy <laughs> and Dee Dee, because she loves her children. She liked me to talk about them. And then another thing, she would call me sometimes and say, hey, darling. I said, hey, how you doing? I said, good. And then she would just, I'd be like, OK, Nancy, you called me. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> you <know? laughs> but I had to, okay, well, how you doing? What you been doing? You know, she would just sit back and, and let me carry on the conversation. It didn't matter if it was in the middle of the day and I was doing a million dollar wire, it didn't matter. <laughs> she wanted to say hi. So I am really going to miss my heart, my nanny, my precious nanny goat. I'm going to miss her and I just appreciate her sharing the children with me. I was their babysitter. We had so many fond memories, so anyway, Sister Leah says she needs some time to get together, so I always fill out this case. <laughs> I've been thinking, I'm sorry. I've been living in this world for quite a long time, always looking for a place to call my home. I was never quite satisfied with what I saw down here. So I'm moving to my brand new home. This is an address change notification for a movie to a much
Lord. All right, we're going to give space now for the family tribute. Know who you are and you know what you would like to share. This is your time. just went numb and um, these past couple of days I've just been trying to come to terms with the uh, situation and I think uh, what's getting me the most is just you know throughout my life throughout my 23 years of living you know um, she's always been there through you know all the important events all the milestones in my life she's always been there you know um, being at elementary school ice cream socials when I graduated high school she was there when I graduated college, she was there, you know, she was just always there, you know. Um, I remember times being in college, you know, she would just call me and be like, you know, I want to take my grandson out to eat, you know, and her and my papa would come down and they'd take me out to eat knowing that, you know, they, they just blessed me with a meal, you know, college time is hard, you know, so um, she definitely looked out for me. Um, I'm going to miss her accidentally calling me. You know, every day, every other day, you know, she, I just see a missed call on my phone and, you know, I'll call it back. She'd be like, I didn't mean to call you, but, well, since you're here, you know, <laughs> um, you know we just have conversations. Um, I just remember the times where um, I was younger and it just, I used to come down to Springfield and um, st I stayed the whole summer in Springfield and I slept on a cot right next to, um, you know, on her side of their, of their bed, you know, so. I can go on and on about, you know, my grandmother and how much I loved her. Um, I just pray that, you know, she continues to watch over me and bless me and just, you know, be with me through, you know, life here on out. And, um, you know, I just, I love her and, you know.